Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial and in the next upcoming tutorials, we're going to be creating a calculator. So let's go ahead and get started by making a new project. We'll select Windows Forms application and we will just call it calculator. And we'll wait for that to load. Now let's go ahead and add some stuff to our form. So we'll open up our toolbox. We will add three text boxes. And for the third text box, we are going to set read only equal to true. So read only is now equal to true. And we'll go ahead and set the names for these. So the first one is going to be text num1. The second one is going to be text num2 and the third one is going to be text num3 or text answer now let's go ahead and add some buttons here so we'll just add them below and we will make this a little bit bigger okay so here's our add button we'll add a subtract we'll add a power What else can we add? We'll add multiply, we'll add division, and we'll just add pi. So now that we've got some buttons and some text boxes, let's go ahead and rearrange these and make it look a little bit nicer. So we'll shrink these down. And you can see here that lines show up whenever we want to shrink them down. And this is what Visual Basic does to help you make your forms and controls look a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and set the name of this one to button add. We'll hit enter. We'll, we will have button subtract, button divide, button multiply. And instead of power for this one, let's just do button modulus. And for this one, we will do button pi. So now let's go ahead and set the text value for each of these. So the first one's just going to be add. This one will be subtract. And this one will be divide. Multiply. modulus and pi so now let's add some labels so the user knows what these boxes are for so we will just select all of these and drag them down some we'll drag this down and this down with it we'll open up our toolbox we'll add a label and we'll have this label say first number. We'll copy this and paste it. And we'll set the second one to second number. And we'll set the third one to answer. So we'll just control C and control V to paste it. So for this one, we'll just type answer. Okay, so now we'll just cr create click events for each one of these. Now, if you don't want to double click on each one of the buttons, you can go ahead and select the button and click the lightning bolt and find the click event and double click on that. So, now that you've got your form initialized and you know what it looks like, you can you don't have to make it look exactly like mine, but um go ahead and once you've made that, move on to the next tutorial and we'll start putting in the code for this.